I'm John. So, uh, wanted to talk, had a question, had a question, had a question about 3D printing, and I'm on ACI 546, the 3D Printing Concrete Committee, um, <clears throat> and uh, I'm putting a tech note together, and the tech note is on how 3D printing with cementitious ink, dot, or asterisk, 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 benefit the concrete construction industry. Um, and I want to go through the different pieces of the 3D printing system. And altogether, I have, and this is not the final, this is only a draft, four pieces, whing, four pieces to the, uh, the, C, uh, the 3D printing system. And I call it cementitious ink because most of what we're using in the industry, when it comes out of that nozzle, it's not concrete. You know, it's more like a, a grout or a mortar. It, it it's, doesn't have the aggregate size to be considered a concrete. So calling it a 3D cementitious ink, it's, I know it sounds annoying. I get it. It doesn't roll off the tongue as well as, you know, 3D printing concrete. So, but that being said, it's correct. So if you got a better idea, I'm willing to listen. But right now, I think 3D cementitious ink is a better idea and it's more precise. You can say 3D cementitious composite ink. Now that would be awesome. 3D PCCI. 3D PCCI. That's the new terminology. I'm not trying to annoy people. It's just concrete ink con or 3D printing concrete. It's not what we're doing. So anyway, but that's neither here nor there. What we're trying to go over today is what is the 3D printing concrete system look like? And like I said, I break it down into six sections. The first and most important portion is the nozzle assembly. If we start at that grayish area where it looks like there are these layers that have been printed down on concrete, that's the nozzle. That's where we care about the most, where our mix come out of, comes out of to get successive layers printed, um, and it's got to come out at the right consistency. After that, we have a hose assembly, and that hose assembly, the length of that depends on how you're mixing and making and distributing, but the length of that hose will also change how your initial uh, mix needs to look. So the longer your hose assembly, uh, it, the harder it's going to be to keep a consistent mix, especially if you've got a lot of turns in your hose assembly. Connected to the hose assembly is our pumping system. That pumping system could be a boom-operated pump, could be an auger-based pump. There are a lot of different types of pumps out there. Uh, it, it could be just a, a pressured hose where you're, you're feeding the fluid concrete into that hose and it pressurizes it through system and dampens it a little bit and then prints it out. So it really is up to you and what you want to do and what your fancy is and how your 3D printing is set up. After that, you have the actual cementitious ink mixer or the 3DP CCI mixer. <laughs> so here's any type of mixer that we have, uh, you know, a, a rotary drum mixer, vertical shaft mixer, a colloidal mixer. Again, it's the type of material that you're working with, the consistency that you're trying to get to, and the type of energy that you need. It could be a rock and rolling uh, rotary drum mixer with the cap on it, so it not only mixes like this, but it goes back and forth and it shakes like that. It, it's really up to you. It can even be a drill set. You know, you got a DeWalt drill and you got a paint mixer on, and that's how you're mixing up the material before you put it into your distribution system. Uh, and then after that, everything that connects the whole thing, uh, and it could be operated manually, it could be automated, uh, it depends on the level of the software and, and, and hardware that you have, but you have your, uh, your computer system, your software system, and everything that's going to control, whether that's, again, computer-based or person-based, the entire uh, mixing system, pumping system, and then 3D printing system. So that's part of our, uh, or that is the 3D printing concrete system, or 3DP CCI, the 3D printed cementitious composite ink system. <laughs> I love it. 3DP CCI, you know, you could say 3DP C squared I. T-shirts next week with a hat.
No, so let us know if you got any more questions about these uh, 3D printing systems. We're excited to talk more about them, bring you more information. And don't hesitate to go to ACIConcrete.org to get more information from ACI 546. If you have any questions, any concrete concerns, don't forget to like and subscribe. Go Concrete! Bad Asphalt! You can't do this with asphalt, by the way. You can do 3D printing with concrete. Asphalt Ooh,